Let's go and read. Hey everybody, my name is Katie, welcome to another video. Today I'm bringing you my wrap up for the month of April. Today is actually the 1st of May. Am I filming a wrap up? I've not filmed a wrap up in what feels like a couple of months because I've not been like finishing enough books in order to like do a wrap up I want to say. Like I think you know for January I only read a couple of books and then for February I only read one book so yeah but yeah I'm wrapping up April for you guys so yeah I did a loads of reading in April I've got one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight nine books to talk about with you guys who am I with reading this month but yeah let's get started the first book that I completed in the month of April was House of Earth and Blood Crescent City book number one by Sarah J Mass. I read the first half of this in the month of March which pretty much took up like quite a lot of my reading and then I read the second half and finished it in the month of April I will leave the live show where myself and some girls from the late night book Women book club discussed this book um, we did two live shows one for part one and one for part two so I'll link them both down below if you'd like to learn our kind of like non-spoilery and spoilery thoughts on them um, but yeah so in the end my overall rating for this one was a four out of five that's what came out of core pile and I just found that the majority of the time especially within the first half of the book I found myself a bit lost I just wish there was a bit of a character glossary and with not me having to look up like who the characters are and then getting spoiled online like I wish there was a character glossary because there were just so many characters introduced at the beginning I got lost of who was who got confused at who was who and I think that's kind of like what threw me off the five star mark but yeah overall I really did enjoy it I would say that I enjoyed probably the second half a lot more especially kind of like near what happened towards the end and yeah um and yeah the scene that's in the beginning where a lot of stuff happens I really liked that I really liked the kind of like detective style of like finding out um who is behind everything and like did I guess who it was? No. <laughs> I just literally like did not have a single clue of like who it was. I was quite surprised. Um, and yeah, I really liked that. So yeah, would I continue and read the next book? Yes, I would. The second book is also a big and bulky book. Um, and yeah, as to <laughs> when I'm gonna read it, I don't know yet. I was hoping that I would get around to, to at least starting it in April. But yeah, so many books. And then Heartstopper happened. Um, and uh, yeah not that I'm blaming Heartstopper for a lot of stuff but you know what it did take up a lot of my time but yeah no I managed to get it finished I'm pretty proud that I did because I got this near enough when it was released and to have finally read it I feel really achieved it's another Sarah J, J Mass book and yeah I really enjoy her Throne of Glass series and her Court of Thorns and Roses series which are also like two series that I still haven't like completed either I have this strange thing where I don't complete series but yeah it's Sarah J Mass's adult fantasy so we've got her Throne of Glass series which is like her YA series and then Court of Thorns and Roses which is like her new adult series and then the Crescent City series which is like oh. her adult series so yes it's written a lot differently compared to the other two series um but hopefully now that I kind of like know the characters and everything that when I do dive into the sequel that I will have a bit more like I will know who's who hopefully I will get around to reading it soon though um I just yeah all I hear is there's just so many questions but yeah four out of five Kit Kats I do recommend to give a read and um, yeah I did really enjoy it. The next book that I read and completed in April was a manga. This is Disney manga Beauty and the Beast Bell's Tale. So I placed the picture over here. I got this review from NetGalley and of course it's Disney's Beauty and the Beast but as like a manga style which you know it's pretty cool there were like two sides so there's like bell's tail and then there's like the beast tail so i read bell's tail and this is by mallory reeves 
and yeah it's just like 176 pages of like a Disney manga that is based on the Beauty and the Beast the like live action movie so what can I say apart from Beauty and the Beast but manga style I enjoyed it and that's why it came out as a rating 5 out of 5 Kit Kats I do recommend it if you like Disney if you like Beauty and the Beast um, whether you're an old fan whether you're a new fan like it was just really really highly enjoyable then i read another net galley book and this is another graphic novel this is vampire dormitory volume number one again i'll place the picture over here this by emma tomoya and yeah this is 161 pages of a great graphic novel that yeah it's just like vampires so what is like really cool about this one is we have Mito who has been dressing as a boy to stay safe so kind of like cross dressing um and then a vampire called Ruka rescues them from their death and makes them an author and they have to become their subservient thrall um which is where they can feed whenever they want and then they have to live with them but they live in the boys dormitory and um yeah so then it's just sort of like are they ever gonna get found out as like you know being a female and yeah it's just i really liked it and really enjoyed it there are loads of other volumes that are out for this so as to would i continue yes i would i really really enjoyed this first volume and i yeah I recommend it for anybody to read I love a good graphic novel and yeah this one was really really enjoyable so it's a nice fresh series and yeah hopefully I can get around to reading the other ones at some point and yeah they're really really yeah they're really really fun and he ended up giving a vampire dormitory five out of five kick outs and then i read and completed the spanish love deception by eleanor armas i listened to this on audiobook which was on scribes and i also have the physical copy which i got from the supermarket for around four pounds which is great it might still be in the supermarket for around about that price um or on amazon for around about that price so yeah um feel free to get your hands on it but this is the late night book one book club book for the month of april and our live show is going to be like the first saturday of may it's always at the same time it is like at 7 p.m bst so yeah have a look at your time zone what that is but yeah this is basically the story about catalina martin who needs to find a date for her sister's wedding and then we have aaron blackford who pretty much kind of like offers up and is just like i'll go i'll be like your fake boyfriend sort of thing they haven't always seen like eye to eye so this is kind of like a sort of like dislike to love i, w I would say um and yeah so she's got four weeks to find somebody and yeah so basically the wedding gets closer and closer and um she's getting more and more desperate and then yeah it's just oh yeah it's just really, really good like i really like Aaron blackford i think that he was great and there's a lot of like spanish in this as well which is why i feel like it's great to listen to the audiobook because the narrator of the audiobook like pronounces a lot of the Spanish obviously really really well and yeah I, I just really really like this it's you know it's just a great it's a great chiclet book and I actually thoroughly enjoyed it I really enjoyed the audiobook I enjoyed reading it physically I enjoyed reading it physically with the audiobook I just I really liked it and yeah that's why I ended up giving it five out of five Kit Kats and yeah it was great and then Heartstopper the TV show came out and I became obsessed I've watched it about four times at this this moment in time as in like four times round there's like eight episodes I've watched them all four times and probably heading towards the fifth very soon so I ended up binging my reread of Heartstopper graphic novel volumes one two three and four which the only ones that are physically out at the moment i also ended up becoming a patreon of alice oseman so that i can be notified of when any new web comics come up and i'm just like you know what i'm happy that i did that i don't actually have any patrons for anybody and 
this is my one and only special patreon so yeah volumes one to four of Heartstopper by Alice Oseman the graphic novel physical releases and this is probably either my all-time favorite series or one of because I do have quite a lot of favorite series but I think this is probably my f well okay let's just say this is my favorite LGBT graphic novel series my all-time favorite so for those of you that don't know this is about Charlie Spring who is openly gay at her school and then he starts his term and he is told his new seating position is to sit next to Nicholas and Nicholas is like your typical jock he is a rugby player and pretty much kind of like the opposite to Charlie Spring however the more and more they sit next to each other and chat and they soon learn that they actually have more in common and that they get along really well and that Charlie has this feeling that maybe Nick likes him more as a friend and yeah and this is about Nick discovering himself and his sexuality and also the friendship and relationship between Charlie and Nick so they are a webcomic that has been um, written and drawn by Alice Oseman that is online you can read it online and yeah it got published and released as physical books which is all we want because we want our own copies of it and yeah it's great Charlie is kind of like a very nervous anxious OCD um, person and Nick is sort of like the anchor for, for Charlie and by volume number three it does hit a lot of harder topics and I would just say trigger warnings of eating disorders and obviously anxiety, OCD and depression. Um, so those are the triggers um, but, but yes I'd say halfway through the third volume and definitely the fourth volume is where it really really kind of hits. The fourth volume is the darkest of them all so if those are your triggers I would just recommend reading the first two volumes. They are really sweet though because I just love Charlie and Nick's relationship and like I say how Nick is just a great anchor to Charlie and it's just one of the sweetest romances ever they deserve to be together and I loved them and yes these are all ultimate Katie star ratings which means all time favourite it is higher than a five star rating it is the equivalent of a six star if there ever was a six star I don't often dish those out and yeah this is definitely definitely one of them because it's one of those series and you know books that makes you think afterwards and makes you want to reread it again and again and again and obsess so that's why it deserves this rating if you haven't read these you can read them online like I say or if you read them online you find that really enjoy them get yourself these books you are not to be disappointed they are just the cutest things ever and they are the best things ever by far and I just want everybody to read them everybody who hasn't read them needs to read them so so much and then the final book that I read and completed in the month of April literally I finished the very last day of April so that's great I got my final book in and that is This Winter by Alice Oseman which is a hardstopper novella this is my first time reading this I actually purchased this when I was in a bit of a oh my god I must have all of Alice Oseman's other books and um, there is a kind of like sort of timeline that's on Alice Oseman's website of like the order to kind of like read her books if you want to read them in the kind of like solitaire heartstopper timeline all of her books are somehow kind of interlinked so you have the heartstopper volumes and then you have this winter which is around the Christmas time so this is pretty much just a really quick 102 page novella that is about Charlie having Christmas with his family with his Christmas kind of like dealing with knowing about his sexuality trigger often disorder and Nick and his family Nick having Christmas with his family um, and then this is really about like Tori Spring who is Charlie's sister 
um, who really sort of like reaches out to be there for Charlie and this is a great kind of like icebreaker for the solitaire book which is Tori Springs book and story so yeah I thought it was really great it's really cute and it's nice to be based on Christmas and you know when sometimes you feel like our novella is really worth it to be honest anything in the hostile world is worth it of course we want like an extra story about Nick and Charlie but it's really sweet and I really like how like you know when things get tough for Charlie and who is his anchors to fall upon it's really nice to see that his sister actually really sort of like stands out in this novella and like I say it's a great start to break into her book Solitaire um, so yeah it was a nice book to end my April reading month on I'm glad that I read it and yeah it's just a really really sweet novel that yes I'll read again it's you know it'd be a nice one to read around Christmas you know but yeah just as a little side story of the Heartstopper like book series like it's great I like it so yeah there's this winter and then you kind of like dip into solitaire and then I think if I remember reading right it's you kind of dip into the prologue of Radio Silence and then you read Nick and Charlie and then you read the rest of Radio Silence and then you read her other books which is I Was Born For This and Loveless so I think if I remember that was the correct order I'm just kind of reading it in that because it's kind of like in a date order and who knows it might make a bit more sense but yeah of course I gave this five out of five Kit Kats I really enjoyed it and yeah it's great so yeah overall I had a really good reading month of you know reading a couple of graphic novels and reading my book club book which was a chiclet book and then reading House of Earth and Blood and finally finishing it which is an adult fantasy rereading my lovely Heartstopper graphic novels which is LGBT graphic novel and then this winter which again is a cute little novella it's LGBT so I had a great reading month I think in my actual reading journal I read over 2,000 pages which is great and my best month so far what are you doing wait what are you doing you can't open the cupboard there's no one there what do you want to see the boogeyman the boogeyman is not there no one wants to play with you because you're noisy what is the matter you big attention seeking furry beast Am I ever going to have a video without you featuring in it? I don't think so. I think you'd just like to be a part of my videos these days, don't you? You're obsessed. You're completely obsessed. There we go. <laughs> so that is the end of my wrap up for the month of April. I'm really proud of myself. Um, so let me know down below in the comments how you managed to do for the month of April. Did you guys manage to read books off of your TBR? To be honest, I think the only book that was really like on my TBR was finishing off the House of Earth and Blood and also finishing and reading The Spanish Love Deception. Other than that, all the other books that I had read weren't on my TBR, but I did knock a couple of books off of my net galley with the graphic novels. And yeah, you know what? Rereading Heart Supper, what can I say? and yeah I definitely will be continuing on with the rest of Alice Oseman books and yeah hopefully I really really enjoyed them so yeah that's it for me if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I hope that you have a great reading month all of my TBR videos are now up and released so be sure to check those out for your liking yeah that's it for me guys all of my social media links as always are linked down below in the description if you would like to follow me elsewhere twitter instagram goodreads it's all there for you to check out get off my wait get down get down Look at this. Bum in the air and everything. Jesus Christ. Crazy animal. I have a Twitch where I stream my gaming um, that you will find linked down below where I pretty much reside if I'm not reading. But yeah, that's it for me. So keep smiling, keep reading, be happy. My name is Katie and I will see all of you wonderful, awesome people in my next video. Bye.